what we wanted to do today is give you an update of the Fresh Tech Innovation District and what's in the works and what's being planned as we move forward. So the Fresh Tech Innovation District is what's been planned for the area where the former Kepsel building used to be on Indiana Avenue, uh, basically east of South, 9th, South 10th Street um, on the property directly west of the former Sprecher. Um, the Innovation District, as you can see, is the mission is to provide the core programming and coordination necessary to catalyze support and invigorate the local in in innovation ecosystem. If you can go to the next slide. So there's four major initiatives that are currently underway. Um, this is a partnership between the City of Sheboygan and the Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation. Um, we both of these two organizations have contracted with the ETUD group who is currently uh, completing a makerspace study. Um, a makerspace for those that don't know is a place where people with shared interests especially in commuting, uh, computing and technology can gather to work on projects while sharing ideas, equipment and knowledge. So the idea is a place similar to a YMCA where you can pay a membership in and you can go with like minded people and do technology things, do engineering, th those kind of things under one roof. Uh, the goal of the study is to determine a core group of residents interested in spearheading the development of the makerspace in Sheboygan on a grassroots level and hopefully bring it to fruition as a place where people can uh, buy into and, and do these types of activities. The second um, the second thing that the SCEDC is leading the charge on is there's 30 uh, representatives from Sheboygan County Company, leaders within those companies that are developing programming centered around um, information received from the Innovation District Summit last fall. So the three things that came out of that summit that was held where 150 people came together and brainstormed on things that they would like to see uh, happen as a part of the programming piece uh, was professional and leadership development, uh, best practices and collaboration and entrepreneurship and innovation. So. The idea is that these three uh, groups will, there's subcommittee groups working on each of these uh, core uh, programming initiatives and they'll be rolling out programming as it relates to those three things uh, to try to use as a talent retention and talent attraction for our local companies. Next slide. Another, in, another initiative of the SCEDC is they've contracted with a group called Innovate2 to conduct a feasibility study on how they can leverage university and college students, business leaders and entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs and other kinds of innovators to work together uh, to, be able to be, able, be able to bring this kind of collaborative working environment and student-run businesses to the district. So Innovate2 is a group out of Milwaukee that's currently working with Marquette and uh, UW-Milwaukee on this type, the same type of model and they're doing a feasibility study here to see if they can partner with the local institutions of higher learning and uh, bring that same kind of model within the district. The city of Sheboygan is implementing uh, five or six key redevelopment initiatives in this district. The addition of affordable apartment housing and condominiums, some infrastructure updates, relocation of existing uh, business and purchase of some additional real estate, the addition of a pedestrian and bicycle infrastructure, an update to the master plan, and the addition of some new buildings. So if you go to the next slide. The former Coakley Warehouse, as you see it today, is under construction. That was the Badger State Tannery that's under construction of 118 affordable housing units and 8,700 square feet of commercial space. The budget, project budget for that is $30 million. The project is slated to be completed sometime in the summer of 2020. And recently, the Planning Commission approved 21 new condominium units on South Pier to break ground this fall on a property east of the Sea Rice Coal Company at the entrance to South Pier at a project budget of six million. Next slide. The Public Works Department is working on the reconstruction of Illinois Avenue, Maryland Avenue, Commerce Street, and North 11th Street surrounding the Badger State lofts. That project is three and a half million. It went out to bid and it came in over budget, so it's going to be rebid sometime in September. And then the Redevelopment Authority um, and the city recently approved the uh, s purchase of the former Craft 30. Craft 30 is currently operating in this building on 
10th Street right now, their plan is to move to 908 Michigan Avenue in the fall of 2020, and then this redevelopment authority will ultimately demolish this building and make way for some new buildings. We also have purchase offers to purchase out on two homes directly north of Craft 30 um, to demolish those as well and create a development site at a value of $140,000. Next slide. The Common Council recently approved a purchase and sale agreement with the Union, Un Union Pacific Railroad to uh, purchase right away of a former railroad from basically Pennsylvania Avenue to Union Avenue and then adjacent to Indiana Avenue. Um, the price of that is $1.2 million. We're currently in the due diligence phase doing a survey, which will be approved later on in the agenda tonight, as well as some environmental assessments. The goal is to close on the acquisition of the real estate sometime in early 2020. We also are working with a developer to develop the first new building in the district, a mixed-use office building. It will be a Class A office and co-working space. Um, on the master plan, the building that's highlighted in purple is where this new building would be planned adjacent to Indiana Avenue and kind of provide some of the programming space that could happen as part of these initiatives. We're also working on an update to the uh, Innovation District Master Plan. We had originally did a master plan for what this area would look like um, after consideration of not moving forward with a parking structure but trying to build a parking lot, a surface parking lot, which is more cost effective in our uh, books. Is that uh, and then the putting of the, the siting of the buildings along the perimeter because in the original plan we did not have craft 30 in those um, in those houses included in that uh, so we're working with a, a cons we'll be working with a consultant soon to update the master plan to show to prospective developers of what the site will look like and then th this is just a up as this is a repeat sorry this is basically providing uh, a space for that park parking and then some outdoor programming features. If you're interested in learning more and following the progress of the Fresh Tech Innovation District, you can visit freshtechinnovation.com um, and it provides all the updates as part of this process through the Sheboygan County EDC. So thank you.